Friday, May 12. Uh, interesting day. I uh, Long-term interest rates have been rising steadily since the middle of April. And uh, they looked as though they were going to break through where we've been for the last six months. If it all just kept going, and today it stopped. And uh, actually retreated a little bit. And so, especially in the interest rate world, unlike the stock market, the interest rate world, we see news and then on the tape, meaning the scrolling news across the bottom of our screens, we see event. And we know the, we then learn what events make rates move and sometimes not move. Oh, here's this big thing, nothing happens. There isn't any economic event to have caused rates to do what they did today. Uh, we got some news, but it's not anything that would do this. The Fed is very likely to raise its interest rate again in June. It's making every noise that it's going to do it again in September. And, uh, and then they're going to begin to, to unload securities that are in their portfolio, which will tend to push upward again. So today's news is in two pieces in horrifying detail. It's in the link next to the um, to this video. The first thing is, yeah, it's a, it was a rough week in Washington, D.C. Without going into the details, ordinarily markets don't care about domestic politics. Markets care about security issues, war, North Korea, stuff like that, but not domestic issues. I'm old enough to have watched markets during Watergate, and we didn't trade on politics then. But this week was um, difficult, I mean really difficult. And my hunch is that it was difficult enough that um, the federal government looks paralyzed and it looks as though Mr. Trump's difficulties are deepening, which will mean less and less happens, um, beneficial or otherwise. And so here's a hypothetical for you. If Mr. Trump this weekend had a stroke and had to resign on Monday, what would markets do? And the friends that I've asked I produced exactly the same response that I had, which is, oh hell, it'll all go up. The stock market will go up, interest rates will go up, because the chance of the Republican stimulus program making it through Congress will be better without him than with him, which could hardly be weirder, but um, that was the immediate move at the end of this week, and the situation in D.C. is so fluid that I don't know anybody could predict it. Uh, I think business people and markets are a little preoccupied by it. Second piece, the most powerful thing holding down our rates are events in Europe. I have seldom seen a news event as badly reported as the French election. Uh, nothing happened. Uh, Le Pen and her father have never had a chance at anything. There is no new European reform coming. The European Central Bank is still furiously buying bonds as fast as it can. It now owns more securities than the Fed does. The Fed stopped buying four years ago. There is no new deal with Germany and the EU. And Brexit has begun and isn't going well. The Europeans are bullying the United Kingdom in the same way that caused Brexit in the first place. So, everything helped. Um, two things to hope for. First, that Europe stays ill, but not fatally so, which will continue downward pressure on our interest rates. And secondly, if there's any embarrassment about what American politics look like, just read some stuff about Europe. Have a good weekend.